Entrepreneur, this is Mark Newsom, Mr. Marketing. Welcome to this special presentation entitled Five Extremely Deadly Warning Signs. Entrepreneur, your business partnership is about to go off the rails and what you need to do to prevent it. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is going to focus on five extremely deadly warning signs that if you're not careful, entrepreneur, your business partnership is about to go south. Now, you know, without a doubt, good partnerships are often the lifeblood of any business and or service, especially new startups. I mean, think about it. You get to leverage another qualified entrepreneur's skills, their time, or their money, or vice versa. This video is going to focus on the five extremely deadly warning signs that if you're not careful, this business partnership is about to come off the rails. Here's warning sign number one. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's often said that partnerships are like marriage because typically they start off all smiles. But as the bloom quickly comes off the rose, you'd better clearly to have defined the goals, directions, and responsibility of each and every legal partner in writing. Otherwise, you could be headed for some very turbulent times. Here's warning sign number two. Ladies and gentlemen, typically partners bring either time or money or a combination thereof. You know, we're going to throw skill in there with time, but make sure your partnership agreement clearly defines the ownership interest percentage, meaning, you know, is it if it's two people, is it 70 30? Is it 80 20? Is it 50 uh, 50? Is it if there's four of you, is it 25 25 25? You'd better know because if there comes a time that somebody wants to sell or they're forced out or whatever the case may be. You need to have discuss this up front. Here is warning sign number three. You know, depending on how you plan on ultimately liquidating your ownership interest, ladies and gentlemen, it's always best up front to have a written planned exit strategy. Don't be forced out because of liquidation or the fact that the company's being dissolved. Discuss this up front. Maybe once the company gets to a certain size and volume, 10 million, 20 million, 100 million, whatever the case may be, or one partner decides they want to sell or get out, whatever the case may be, you need to discuss this and have something tentatively in writing. Here's warning sign number four. You know, another way that partnerships are like marriages is in the fact that all the partners need to clearly define their particular management styles up front. Because sometimes what happens is one manager is really loose and they uh, approach employees one way. Another manager is more rigid, more traditional. They handle employee issues and the management of day-to-day -day running business another way. And these two conflicting styles can sometimes get in the way of each other. So you better talk about it and at least have something tentative so you know going in where everybody stands in terms of management styles. And finally, warning sign number five, entrepreneur, no matter what type of corporate entity you, you're involved in and the way it's structured, you better understand all the potential liability issues. Because if one partner sued, is everybody potentially liable for this lawsuit? Or if the company gets dissolved and there are not enough assets to pay off any outstanding debts or liens or whatever the case may be, or judgments, is your personal assets at risk? You better find out. Don't take anything for granted. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully with these five simple, potentially deadly warning signs, you have a concrete understanding in terms of how and why business partnerships sometimes go south. We hope you're never in that situation. But for those of you who want to discover how you're going to add an additional 25% more gross profit to your bottom line, do so in the next 90 days or less without having to add any new customers or clients. Entrepreneur, grab that free nine page special report. You know what to do. Just head over to youcanmarketonlinenow.com forward slash sales because that's where you can get it. 
This is Mark Newsom, Mr. Marketing. We'll see you again next time on the Marketing Minute.